If it's beef, then it's beef. I swear to God, I'm a creep to your Jeep with the heat and put your. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Little Man Reacts, and today I got a request again to redo the Beatles Helter Skelter from the White Album. I completely understand. I saw the 110 comments where it said wrong song. If I've never reacted to it before, I don't know. I just click it and go without a link provided. I just pick whatever video is available. And maybe that's my fault for not reading the description, but I don't want to take the chance of clicking a song and hearing a little bit of it and then trying to do a, um, a real authentic reaction. So it is what it is. But guys, here's Helter Skelter off the White Album. It is a remaster. But it's off the official The Beatles channel. So we're going to react to it, guys. Here it goes. We're going to jump right into it. Before we do, like, comment, subscribe down below. You already know. Let's go, guys. When I get to the bottom, I go back to the top of the slide. Well, stop and Guys, I absolutely love the guitar. I love it. Um, was this recorded in mono or was this recorded in stereo? Because it sounds like it's all coming from the left besides the vocals. Um, I can see a difference in what you guys are saying now. Um, but still, I'm new to the Beatles. Give me a break, guys. Come on, man. Uh, I'm trying to have, you know, trying to take my journey with the Beatles and take it step by step. But I received a lot of hate for that last one, a lot of thumbs down, a lot of wrong song. So it kind of discouraged my journey a little bit. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Um, you know, I do all these videos absolutely free. Um, everything that I do is, you know, um, I don't monetize or anything like that. I just do it out of the love of music and wanting to hear it. You know, I do accept donations if you have a donation. And you want you want to make a donation to support my channel. And if you put your song in there, I will do that song. And I will look into the details and I will do everything possible to get you the best version and the most authentic reaction you can get. But guys, let's jump back into this. really like the voice as well so the voice to me definitely fits it you guys said this is the beginning of rock and roll which i definitely could see this would be a time to be alive to actually hear this song for the you know for like the first time in like what was this the 50s when this came out was it the 60s let me know down in the comments this probably would have blew my mind if i was from that era it still blows my mind from this era because this is music that i'm i've never been you know um exposed to um, I have to pause a lot, so I'm just pausing and talking about things that come because I know the last, uh, last few Beatles videos I've done, they've all got blocked and I've had to fight for them. So this is just the reason why so many pauses are going. Um, but I really like what I'm hearing and I really can hear the difference. So let's jump back into it. Back to the 
this i'm really enjoying it um i really like you know the <clears throat> i assume that this was recorded on reels um and you know because there was no probably program softwares like there is today so everything that you're hearing is authentic the voice is actual the voice that we're hearing with no uh plugins or anything like that being applied you know i know the produ the production and the quality uh, doesn't sit like compared to a lot of the production that's done today, but a lot of production today can take a dog and make a dog sound like it's got the best um, vocals in the world. Um, so I like it for the authentic, you know, that it that it has. Um, and um, for its time, it probably held up well against a lot of other songs with the same production, you know what I mean? So I really like that, and I'm really... Um, I'm really into checking out the production because I produce music as well. Every kind of music. I even, you know, record music myself. So I pay attention to a lot of the production that's done in these songs. And I can definitely tell, like, you know, maybe the vocals was either done in stereo and uh, the recording of the instruments was done in mono because it's only playing on one side. Um, but, and the vocals are kind of quiet. They needed turned up a little bit, but they are when it comes to the chorus, which is still solid. Let's jump back into it, guys. Guys, now this part sounds way different than the other version. I, I remember this by going up and down. Then uh, he said something about his voice in it. I remember those parts, but this has a lot uh, different sound to it. And now that I notice when I think about it, the actual uh, instruments are playing in both ears. It's just a certain instrument is playing louder in the left ear than the other ones. It's like overpowering the uh, in instrumentals um, instruments in uh, the song. So you're hearing one, t -t -t -t, you know, whether it's a guitar, whether it's a drum, whether it's a bass, you're hearing like it'll individualize one and play louder on one side. Let's jump back into it. That's what I meant to say. Instead of uh, 
something wrong with my voice. I got blisters on my fingers. I, re I remember that. Um, this was Helter Skelter, guys. The original from the White Album, just a remastered version, uploaded to the Beatles' official channel. So now that we got that straight, we got that figured out, which version do I like better? I like... I like this version better, um, only because I could hear the vocals a little bit better than I could on the last track. I do not li not dislike the last track that I heard. I really enjoyed it just as well as I enjoyed this one. This one is just the original, so I understand you guys wanted me to hear the original, and you guys definitely wanted the um, the real version, the authentic version. So I definitely get that, and I, I you know this is the beginning of rock, and. Uh, it would have it would have been a time to be alive, you know. Um, people say if you haven't witnessed Beatlemania, I've read your guys' comments. I read every single one. You say Beatlemania was like an explosive scene, like it just took over. And um, so I'm really interested, you know, like in in continuing this journey. Like I said, it just when I make a mistake, sometimes guys, it's not intentional. I don't do it to. Um, derail the um official songs by the Beatles or you know try to um you know not do the right thing I'm just kind of new to their music you know I don't know any of their music besides you know what I've already reacted to and maybe it's my fault for not reading the description but if you provide a link I can go straight to that song and we can do it that way and that way you know I don't miss out you know I know a lot of people said thumbs down wrong song uh, Charles Manson did, must have made this mix, it, <laughs> it, that discourages me not to even, you know, react to another Beatles song, because I'm just like, hey man, my bad, but, it's all good, it's all good, guys, I can't wait till we get to the next Beatles song, um, I definitely don't understand, <clears throat> understand how Charles Manson even thought this was giving him a message, <laughs> that's insane but guys thank you so much for watching thank you guys who support the channel thank you guys who um um leave the good comments leave the bad comments everybody has an opinion and i respect it regardless if it's good or if it's bad thank you guys so much down in the comments what Beatles song we going to next guys yeah marco, marco. uh-huh